another episode of Alpha Lux Drives. Today we're in the Lotus Evora GT. Um, it's a new car for 2019 and uh, pretty much a revised Evora. They've kind of gone through and uh, done a lot of cool stuff on this car. So um, first thing I noticed when I got in it was the uh, door sill has been changed. Um, before there's a big lumpy door sill uh, and every time you get in it'd be really weird. Um, that's gone. It's a lot more practical to get in the car now. This car has two exhaust modes and uh, right now we have it on the loud mode, which is the fun mode. Um, you hear more of the supercharger whine, which is something I actually like. Cool thing, I don't know if you guys can see it uh, in the video here, but I can see it in the mirror, is uh, there's like some throttle actuator or bypass valve maybe for the supercharger. But when you get on it, it opens up, and I think that's a real part, real cool part of the car. Um, the downside is that's pretty much all you can see in the rearview mirror. Um, there's not much visibility. inspiring it's ridiculous you might need a neck brace if you're not used to that kind of uh, grip when uh, they told me the price of this car which is uh, in the six-figure range I was a bit surprised but of course I saved judgment for driving it as always I think this car is definitely uh, worth the six figures that they charge uh, this green color on this car is awesome and I think that other people think so too. Uh, besides the car being really pretty, uh, the green color and the carbon fiber really breaks some necks. I mean, there are so many people that I'm passing by that are just staring at the car and smiling. Um, it definitely is accepted uh, amongst the general public. This car doesn't make you look like a douchebag uh, compared to some of the other exotics. It makes you look really cool. Not saying a Porsche would make you look a little douchey, but one complaint I do have, uh, the gearbox feels a little loose to me. Uh, I don't know if that's a thing with all of them. It might be just be this car. Uh, but each gear feels just a little, a little too slushy for my liking. Um, doesn't give you that bolt action rifle feel that's nice to have in these kind of cars. That being said, the shifter itself is really nice. It's this uh, polished uh, aluminum, it looks like, and it feels really nice when you're driving the car. The brake feels pretty good. The first like inch of travel is light for some reason, like way too light, uh, but after that, after you get into the brakes pretty good, they feel great. The clutch is perfect, it's not too heavy, uh, it's not extremely light. It's just the perfect balance of uh, what you want in a clutch. It's not a super long way down to the bottom uh, when you hit the clutch. And so it makes it a lot quicker uh, to shift um, when you're going through it and growing through the gears. The driving position here is um, absolutely perfect. I mean, from the steering wheel uh, placement to the position of the seat, the way the seat is designed, all the way to the gear shift um, knob. It's in the perfect place, it's where you want it to be. That being said, uh, when it comes to the other stuff in the interior, some of it is a little questionable. Um, mostly the radio, which, I mean, it's an Alpine head unit. It's not a bad thing, uh, but it's not something I would expect when paying six figures for a car. But you don't buy this car for the radio, so don't listen to what other people say. Um, the drive makes up for it. And honestly, the materials are really nice. There's Alcantara carbon in here, leather. Um, the center piece, uh, the center console here has a green paint matched uh, like panel. Uh, the gear shift knob feels amazing. There's aluminum on the air conditioned vents. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so light and fun. <laughs> this is um, pretty much the last of its kind as far as this generation of Lotus goes. Uh, the next generation we don't know too much about yet, um, but we do know they're releasing the uh, hypercar, uh, all electric, uh, called the Abaya. And uh, I mean, that car is just so far from what we know Lotus as today. 